this video we are going to see how to design a simple half wavelength antenna on FICO. So we basically start in CAD FICO, create a new model, and the first thing we need to do is to set some variables to make it easier our design uh, just add variable right click here and the first variable we are going to set is the frequency we are going to name it frequency and actual, actually is the frequency where our antenna is supposed to resonate we just set the frequency to one gigahertz FICO uses the Hertz unit, so we need to write down 1 by 10 to the 9. That says it's 1 gigahertz. Next, we define the other variable, which is the wavelength. And for that, we just see that here we have the FICO has predefined C0. Which, act, which is actually the speed of light. So our wavelength is defined as C0 over the frequency. Create and double click here, we can see that wavelength is more or less 30 centimeters, which is corresponded to the frequency of one gigahertz. FICO does it aromatically for us. That's in unit of meters. Next variable, uh, our wire is supposed to have some diameter. We define the radius as one millimeter, one by 10 to the minus three unit of meters, and we'll create this variable. All the variables are defined so that says we can scale up or down our antenna or our FICO model very easily. We don't need to draw it everything again using these parameters defined with variables. Next, uh, we are going to actually uh, in construct pick the line entity and we, this is the our actual antenna. Our antenna is supposed to uh, be constructed using a line that goes between two points across the z-axis, like Balami's book. Uh, so the extreme point in the z-axis is minus wavelength over four. Wavelength is the variable that we just created before. So that says our line has wavelength over two length. Later on, we are going to add the radius for our antenna. Create and basically it's done. And then automatically it creates this entity called wire. We create on wire and it forms the radius. Just type in the radius variable, and FICO knows already that it's supposed to be one millimeter. And you can see here the medium is perfect electric conductor, so it's PC, doesn't have any kind of loss associated to, with it. And we create a port. The wire port is the most appropriate port for this structure. So the wire part is selected here. And it just tells FICO that the wire part is supposed to be located on the middle of our wire, not on start and end, but on the middle. Just create the part. Then you can see we have the radius, perfect electric conductor. Everything is basically set for our antenna. It's a 3D antenna made of back one millimeter radius, lossless. Next thing, we move to source load area and we pick frequency. 
we are going to tell FICO to spread continuous interpolated range from 800 megahertz to 0.2 gigahertz. We have to write down in units of hertz so that our 1 gigahertz stays right on the middle. And FICO knows best where to place the samples of the simulation. Next thing, we pick the voltage source, which tells that our predefined uh, wire part is 50 ohm voltage source so that our S parameters, reflection impedance, can be com uh, uh, properly computed. Then we move to request. Request is the actual post processing phase of FICO. First thing we ask for a 3D pattern of far field. Next, the near field. The near field is supposed to sample, be sampled along a line, a straight line. As you can see here, we are going to place our line parallel to our, our, our wire and uh, it is going to be minus wavelength to plus wavelength one meter away from our antenna as you can see here in this drawing. One thing I was left, we can just hide the far field, far field sphere. One thing that was left, we just need to inform 28 points to be used for the sampling of the electric field on that line in yellow at our left. Next point, we create a mesh. We say that a wire segment, ra uh, segment radius is uh, radius over 2 or over 3, it depends on the speed of the simulation, and just click on the mesh, mesh is done, don't need to do anything more. And actually our simulation, our setup is done, we can move on to the actual simulation. Before the simulation, it's nice to use the CEM validate to see if there is an error or a warning or a mistake done in our model. Everything is basically correct. Our model is quite simple and everything is green, so it's actually validated. We can move on to the simulation, which is the next step. The next step, we just click on FICO Solver. We just need to uh, save the project, give it any name. And the simulation starts. It takes a while. You can see here, it's finished. When all those bar graphs reach 100%, we can move on to the post processing phase, the post-processing is reached on post -feco. it opens up another window, another, so another interface, where all the results can be explored, and a lot of other things can be tried. First uh, result is Cart on Cartesian, you, you pick on Cartesian here, and you just drag and drop voltage source. By doing that, actually, we are seeing the impedance results. Here we see the reflection coefficient versus frequency. And we were expecting the antenna to be exactly resonant at 1 gigahertz. Uh, there's a very slight shift, more or less 0.95 gigahertz. And we can see here in dB, it's matched, minus 16 dB, but it's slightly off. So uh, there is actually, the antenna is not supposed to be 0.5 wavelength, but rather it has to be rather uh, 0.48. Uh, but that said, it's pretty much working as expected. Next thing, instead of reflection coefficient, we can see the impedance. And here it's nice because we are seeing the impedance it's much better to move on to the real or imaginary. So here, real, you can see that we are pretty close to the 60 ohms 
50 ohms here on 100 gigahertz on one gigahertz we have more or less 90 and we we can see on the imaginary part we cross the zero not one gigahertz exactly as expected before that we have a capacitive behavior after that we have an inductive inductive behavior so that can be seen also on the smith chart just type in the smith chart drag the voltage source and you can see the behavior of the antenna crossing the real part exactly on the 0.95 gigahertz that's the other way of seeing the same results given in cartesian here we see both amplitude the, the, the imaginary and real part at the same time we can see the near field we can see the far field here this is the far field exactly as expected this is, it has a donut a toroid shape maximum gain 0.75 at one gigahertz doesn't change a lot It doesn't change a lot the maximum gain of course the impedance changes much more and we can we can also see the near field we just drag and drop the near field on the cartesian canvas uh, this is the far field and the infinite and this is the something different of the near field near field is sampled there is a purpose a, a, a pre-processing step that computes the electric field close to the antenna you can see here the z position we are we are sweeping the z position here maximum exactly on the middle for the frequency of one gigahertz if you see in the p if you normalize there is no big difference more or less one db this is has one wavelength of length this sampling distance we can also see the magnetic field is the same, the maximum happens exactly on the middle. So that's everything you can see for a while for our antenna. We can explore and play around. Thank you very much.